only way to dispel darkness is by introducing light, so I'm stopping by today to help introduce some light into your morning. Also to encourage you to turn on the light for yourself and someone else. Don't just gain from this, but let this inspire you and encourage you to go out and introduce some light into the world around us today. Don't just take it all in, but give some of that out. Let's encourage people and show them the light of the world that is Jesus Christ. Take some time to comment, post, repost, whatever you must do. Do it so that we can introduce some light into the darkness around us. Today we're looking at Numbers chapter 27, starting at verse 15. It says that Moses said to the Lord, O Lord, you are the God who gives breath to all creatures. Please appoint a new man as leader for the community. Give him someone who will guide the, give them rather someone who will guide them wherever they go and will lead them in the battle, so the community of the Lord will not be like sheep without a shepherd. The Lord replied, Take Joshua, son of Nun, as a spirit in him, and lay your hands on him. Present him to Eleazar the priest before the whole community and publicly commission him to lead the people. Transfer some of your authority to him so the whole community of Israel will obey him. Here we're reading about Moses and he is recognizing that the end of his leadership is quickly approaching. He cares more about the people than he does uh, the other things that are going on. So he takes some time, gets alone with the Lord and he says, God, these people need a leader. And I'm not always going to be here, God, so provide them with a leader that will help them. Because if they're left to their own devices, they're going to fall. He identifies a problem, and the problem is that the people will soon be without him, that man who they've looked to, to be the voice of God in their life. He says, uh, God, give them a leader, and God responds with, I've already been preparing someone, this Joshua, son of Nun. If you go back and look, you'll see that Joshua had been spending time with Moses. Joshua had been learning what it was to be a leader. Some stuff is taught and some stuff is caught. Joshua was both catching stuff and he was being taught stuff. So God was already preparing Joshua. Moses presents God with the issue. The issue is we need a leader that's going to stand in my stead, that's going to stand in my place when I'm gone. And God provides him with the answer. I've already seen it, and here's the man that's going to take the place. In our lives, we face many difficulties, but we see here that Moses sets forth an example that we can begin to follow. And here is the model that we need to take note of. When we have a problem, when we have identified an issue, bring it to God. And you will quickly find that God's already been working. God already has a solution in mind. So many times we get discouraged thinking that where is God in this? But the reality is that God has been working before we could even see and identify him as working. God has an answer for your problem. I want to encourage you today. I want to turn that light on for you because the reality of your problem is not that it is so overwhelming, so complex, so uh, debilitating that there is no solution, but the reality of your problem is that if you will bring it to God, he will reveal for you the plan for success that he has been working on before you even identified the problem. This is the God that we serve, the one that goes so far beyond, so far ahead of us that we don't even recognize it until we're sitting in a moment where we call on him and he says, yeah, that's no biggie. I've already got it. God has got your answer already in store for you. God has got the plan already laid out. He has got success in mind for you. If you will take Moses' model and you will come to him with God, here is the problem that I've identified. If you will do this, you will find that God's already been working. You don't have to stress, you don't have to worry, you don't have to carry the weight and the burden of the situation. If you will trust look to and just bring to God the problem and then listen long enough to let him tell you what the plan for success is. I love this because Moses identifies a problem and in that moment he becomes aware of it. But the reality is that God has been aware of what's going to happen way before Moses even came. In the moment that you identify the problem, bring it to God. But let me remind you that God has already been aware. He's already made a way. What a mighty and excellent God we serve. Today, don't carry the heavy burden and the heavy weight that's been on your mind, but instead go to God with it and say, God, here is my problem. And I promise you that he already has the solution that you need in your life.
Turn the light on for yourself. Turn it on for somebody else. Take some time. Comment, share, post, repost. Make your own post. Let's introduce light into the darkness all around you. God bless you. I love you. Have a wonderful day.